Hello and welcome on how to install the Zeppelin mod for Minecraft. What this basically does is adds floating bricks in your game like an airship. And this is how to install it. This is for Mac by the way. So first of all what you want to do is go visit this page which will be in the description. Then you want to just keep scrolling down a little bit past all this writing. Then if you hold command and click on there it will take you to an ad page. And then you skip that and it goes to media file. As I've already downloaded I'll exit that one. Then you have to also download Mod Loader. You do the same thing for that. Just click that, it takes you to here, but then you go down a little bit. There it is, and then you direct download. Once you've done that, I can close that now. I've already got that there. A Mod Loader should be in my download, so let me just close that. So if we, yeah, uh, there it is. Now we've got them two files, you need to know how to get a fresh Minecraft, but these might also work with some mods, but I'm just going to. Make sure it works and get a totally new Minecraft. The way to do that, this is also a macOS Lion and Snow Leopard. For macOS Lion, you have to go to Go, go to Folder, type in this code, and then it'll bring you to all your Minecrafts. And then what I want to do is where's mine because I got loads. There it is. I want to just move my one to the trash. Now, if you're on Snow Leopard, you want to go into your username, then you want to go into Library application support then you'll find the folder which mine is here Wait, there it is as I've already done all this I'll just go ahead and get a fresh minecraft and then I'll be right back when I've got one so I've went ahead and downloaded minecraft as I've got it all here so now we can just go ahead and close minecraft now I've got the files again we can go into finder go and whichever way you have to do it go back to all your files and I've got my new one here then if we go into bin now for snow leopard users you'll have to get a new file called like program called the archive you can download it off the app store just type it in the search bar thing now as I am on this I need to use the unarchiver but for users who are not on macOS line you just go open with archive utility now that I've done that you need to go just hold that for a second and then you put a one at the start of here and then press enter to like save it then you need to add dot jar at the end of there there we go then you just press add now that done that we can go inside here now for people on snow leopard you just go arrange by kind people on macOS line also do this but it all like goes in a different order so as I've done this see how it all goes into folders images and all that what you want to go ahead and find is um, meta inf so if you just go move to trash now you've done that. Now get to installing files. You need to go to mo into mod loader, highlight every single file, then command C. And then you want to go command V inside there and then apply to all replace all the files. Now I've done that, I'll just go ahead and close that. Now you want to go and install the actual mod Zeppelin. So then you command C, command V, and that's it. We're done. Let me just close everything up. And here we go. Ooh. I'll also do like a mod spotlight thing on this, showing all around the mod Zeppelin how to use it. So then if I just go into single player, create a new world, new world. So now I'm creating a new world. Okay, I'm back after me installing two new items to show you the mod, and I did do a little bit of testing. So now this is how you actually build it. We, it does look like this. So if we just get a crafting bench, and we need some cobblestone and some of that. Now where's that trusty crafting bench? There we go. Just tell me we're in this distance down. Now if we place the crafting bench, then we do this. Put cobblestone on the top. Then that underneath, you do create one of the craft controllers. Now I'm gonna actually build a craft and I think I used all my stuff there. Yep, so now let's just build a simple 3x3 three three craft. Then put that on there. Now if you right click on there, it'll say found craft size of however big it is. You do need an extended keyboard for this with the numlock keys, but if you don't have one of these, you go into there, then controls, and then you can change it all through there. As I do have a spare one, like keyboard. I'm going to use it now. If you press 8, you'll start going forwards. Then, if you press plus, you'll go up. Plus again, you'll go up even faster. 
then you press minus it'll go down minus you'll just stay at the same level then you can go underneath and stuff now if you press 8 again it goes to a max speed of about 10 yep 10 then if you press 2 it does lower the speed as I was doing then if you press 6 on the side you just go oh god oh god then if you keep tapping 6 the higher you turn and then so on and then you can just simply right click again and then it'll go to and fit into the best place possible and then you've landed your craft whatever you've built so that's an easy way of moving a whole house somewhere so thanks for watching and i hope this helps subscribe if this works and yeah.